Hey, what's happening everyone? Cody Lefevre here, aka GZCL. This is going to be a tutorial video on the deadlift waveforms template that you'll find in the November 10th Marine Corps birthday update of the GZCL compendium. A quick rundown on how to use this, talking about the training plan, how it's structured, different things like that, and this is the blog that this will all be linked back to and this deadlift extended deadlift wave formulas blog has a ton of information on ways and means to adjust this plan make it specific to your needs this uh, deadlifting theory is not as complex that it might seem on its surface it's a really simple thing to grasp so let's go and uh, kind of take a look at the way this is structured here so whoa not too zoomed in here come on PowerPoint don't we just love PowerPoint so this is a, a 12 week wave and I'm sure the arrows make it visually obviously apparent how this shit works all we're trying to do is take something with a low amount of intensity and train it until you get it able to have a high amount of intensity shocking earth shattering nah but for real the deadlift wave formulas theory of training isn't anything new it is founded in a conjugate training approach it's simply a more specific means on how to structure the training and kind of an idea of how it works so what we're trying to do is identify your initial performance indicators and then we're going to take different variations of the deadlift and train them complementary to each other and across a number of waves we're going to link these together successfully so that they feed into each other drive the following wave to even greater volumes greater intensities until you get to the end and you're able to set a new max across these waves you're setting rep maxes so we got a three, two, one rep max paused, and then a one rep max banded. Okay, and this isn't four weeks. Remember, this is week one rep max, week four rep max, week seven rep max, week ten rep max. That's how I've set it up for me. The blog post does discuss different reasons why you would adjust it beyond a three week uh, wave, and you know maybe even skipping a rep max attempt if that's something you feel you can't recover from or maybe not even applicable to the way that you set up your extended deadlift wave formulas training plan so here i'm working up to a three rep max a two and then a one pause with a one banded and prior to all that i'm working on those skills for a number of weeks so by the time i am maxing on paused and banded deadlifts i've got six weeks of training on each across two different spectrums of intensity does that make sense so we're giving yourself a lot of time to refine those skills and to get better at the general skill of deadlifting you link these waves together in a way that makes sense by the time you get to week 13 week 10 week 7 however long your wave formula turns out to be by the time you get there ideally the skills transfer from each successive wave has paid off and this is more or less my recommended scheme you can definitely stray from this but there are some things that I just would choose not to do and I'll talk about that we're going deadlift deficit paused band and these are the heaviest sessions right here these first ones in the week and the reason for this order is that through deficit and paused work I'm refining my ability to hold a position and control the weight through a longer range of motion so by doing that it's making me a better lifter in the technical sense start refining those technical skills so each rep becomes more efficient it's easier to recover from your sessions because you're not grinding you're not pulling in bad positions and then by the time you get to these later waves you have now spent a significant amount of time refining your technical expertise with the deadlift that when it comes to hitting heavy paused work it's more 
able, you're more able to recover from this heavy paused work by that time. That also means because of your technical ability, your refined ability to hold a position, you're more efficient with each rep, your band work here will be of better quality. Your speeds will be faster. People want to do speed work, but if their technical ability sucks, then they're going to be limiting their speed artificially. So we refine that technical ability back here, and then once that's adapted through our general adaptation syndrome, also talked about in the blog post, you, you apply that to the next wave. So you get very strong technically, we apply that technical ability into that next wave of developing your speed. And then here, through middle range intensities, we get back to specificity. That principle of specificity is absolutely huge. So while the waveforms is built upon deadlift variations, ending here with these final two sessions of each week in the last wave as standard deadlifting is a great means to bump up the specificity so then the skills transfer is more applicable come week 13. So it's kind of the rundown of the theory of the deadlift waveforms formula. That is the 12 week progression for floor speed here. So down on this side we've got kind of what the intent is for this layout. And then the day it's done on, day one, day two, day three exercise order per the session and then what it is really simple stuff here got a progression here for lockout strength so on lockout strength all we're doing is adjusting these movements to be more specific to that individual's need of focusing on that range of motion so if that's the point of improvement you're trying to work on the suggested flow is again we're working on the technical stuff here deadlift and paused deadlifts now here the speed work comes a little bit early all right we're not going to be doing a whole lot of work with positioning on someone with a lockout problem because it's explained in the blog. I don't want to give it all away, but a lot of times people think they have a lockout problem when it's really just an off the floor weakness problem. So make sure you read that blog post. But if you do have a legitimate lockout problem, this is kind of the, the flow that we're going to go with here. Deadlift, paused, band, and then block pulls or rack pulls. These block pulls or rack pulls, don't be overzealous with the height here. You know, two to four inches, it's going to be good for most scenarios, most people, even one inch in some cases. So, again, written about in the blog post. Here on a shorter version plan, we've got a nine-week waveform. This is, again, for floor speed. The ba major difference is here is we don't have a lot of time to develop all of these different skills for being a good deadlifter. So we're going to keep the kind of undertow being the paused deadlift, in this case, refining that control, that positioning um, for that person who's lacking the floor speed. From here, working on, again, positioning bar control through the deficit, and then morphing that, moving that into your banded deadlift, again, finishing up with specificity here. The kind of change that might be suggested is perhaps taking paused deadlifts and moving it up here, so it's going band, pause deadlift and then a standard deadlift so it kind of will just wave up that way perhaps you know that's an option that I definitely suggest giving a shot so it'd be a nine week, week version and then this would be a simple six week version less of a wave but I imagine for six weeks this would be a good kind of feeler session of uh, you know just planning a slightly longer deadlift specific block but the real commitment of six weeks isn't that bad after this, you could take a short break and immediately kick up into something that maybe takes deficits up into that next wave, and you just continue that. So that's kind of the rundown of these things, and all that is going to be linked in this big, beautiful blog post that you can find lots of information inside. Go to my blog, swallowedeveryheight.com. You'll find all these slides, as well as a link to the compendium with all the free programs and stuff. And, uh, you know, I just first want to thank everybody for reading through all this stuff. It's a lot of heavy information, but every week I get people, sure enough, 
reporting gains. So I'm super stoked on that. Really appreciate it. And the trust in the method is outstanding. It's gotten me extremely strong and I never imagined it would take off so well. And a uh, huge thanks to all of you. Let's now talk about the specifics of the, the template that you'll find in the Jesus Yell Free Compendium November 10th update. Yes, Marine Corps birthday, a gift from me to you. This is a 12 week in pounds and kilograms template. And we also have a quick guide right here, which more or less reflects that same information, uh, minus all the fancy arrows and stuff from that PowerPoint. You can always just go back to the, uh, the old bloggity blog. So this here is empty. All it is is the information for the way that I've set up my waves. So you can kind of take this template and adjust it to yours. The thing to keep in mind here is that your rep max is what the intensity is based off of. So do not link your intensities back up to this training max table. The thing to keep in mind here is the relative intensity as mentioned in the blog post. You want to make sure that your percentages are based off of this rep max. So in that first training session I'm hitting a three rep max right here and when you're working with this spreadsheet double click on that cell it's going to show you that this percentage 0.8 that's 80 percent of 500 which gives me 400 pounds. So that first session worked up to a three rep max or recorded just 500 pounds. All I did was on my phone hit 500 times 0.8 shot me out 400 I did that for three reps two sets I chose to AMRAP on the end AMRAP's always optional leave one to two in the tank for maximum recovery and endurance recorded that here in real life after I've recorded all of my stuff that's what it looks like I plugged in my entire training plan and again this is always an outline open for adjustment dropping in notes all you do is right click and you can hit uh, delete comment edit comment whatever enter in some training notes and you can adjust the stuff in the future so you can see I put in my accessory work here I choose to work through a max rep set approach and I'm recording my volumes here so for example go up to that first workout again Again, worked up to three at max, got 500 pounds, 80% is 400. Did for three reps, two, got two on the AMRAP, so that gives me a total of eight reps. I choose to just record the total. You guys can break it out by the sets if you like. And uh, down here, again, base volume of 15, got three on the AMRAP, that gives me 18. If you're familiar with applications and adaptations as leaked in this Deadlift Waveforms blog, it does talk about these different reasons for why you would structure your training this way and I do suggest the wave forms if ran the first go around you stick with this format that I've laid out with the straight sets 3x3, three 2x4 three, it's got three week deload so you're deloading just a little bit in volume before you roll into that next rep max attempt and uh, you know really awesome information here so far had tons of success this style of deadlifting myself ran a number of lifters through this deadlift approach and many of them great great gains so make sure you read this blog post I hope you like the information if you got questions drop them here in the comments you can drop them in the comments on the YouTube the blog um, all that good stuff you'll find a link to the compendium both in this YouTube video the description box below as well as it'll be dropped in right here once I'm done wrapping up this draft here on the blog so thanks for watching the video make sure that you study these pictures right here maybe take a few crayons to them draw some X's and O's I don't know and uh, have fun deadlifting that's what matters. Thanks for watching the video. Download these program templates from the compendium. Read the information. Make them your own. Go to the gym. Get stronger. Thanks for watching.